You are not live with the life of D. I'm your host, Desiree. You can call me Nine, Des, or D. And in today's video, I will be telling you guys some tips and tricks on how to maintain your mental health while at Zoom University. DJ Faye. distancing is hard and to make matters worse like it was already bad in the summer but to make matters worse everybody i know who is still in college or in high school everyone is doing virtual learning right now and i don't know about you guys but virtual learning is a no-go for me like if i was still in school and we were doing virtual learning like i don't think i would have made it out because like why am I paying all this money to get a degree on the internet? Like, that's what I could do that on Google, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to discourage anybody from getting their degree. That is not what you're do, okay? That is not it. I'm not trying to tell anybody to drop out. But I do want to help my friends or anyone who is doing virtual learning right now to just keep their mental health up because I know that staying inside, not being able to go outside, not being able to see your friends, um, being in your home environment can be very taxing on your mental health. And I want that for you guys. I want everybody to achieve their goals. I want you guys to graduate college, graduate high school, and just be the bosses that you are. So, so yeah, so I'm just gonna get into some tips and tricks for you guys. And at the end, I will be inserting a mini vlog of me taking my graduation pictures. So tip number one is to have separate devices and separate areas in your home for where you're going to work and where you're going to relax. It's kind of like the tip where people used to say don't study in your bed. So if you relax in the same place that you study, um, what could happen is that while you're trying to study, your brain is like giving you relaxed vibes. So you're trying to study, you're trying to do your work, but you feel so relaxed that you fall asleep. I don't know about you guys, but that was definitely a problem for me in school. If I did work in my room and not at like my desk, but like in my bed, girl, I had a good 10 minutes tops before I was out, okay? And we don't want that. We wanna be as productive and with our time and to do as much as possible with our time. So. My first tip will be to separate where you're going to work at and separate where you're going to relax at. If that's having a desk in your living room, doing work at the table in the living room, um, doing work outside or like physically going to a place that is safe for you to um, study at and do like social distance during Corona, then do that. Okay, so tip number two would be to know what your goal is. For me, what got me through college is definitely knowing that when I was done, I had the opportunity to do whatever it is that I wanted to do. And my first, what's my first? It's not really my first, but when I got back to New Jersey from California, it was really refreshing to get out of the house and do something creative, like my graduation photo shoot. So, here I am sharing my graduation photo shoot. The pictures from that shoot should be up on my Instagram now. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at underscore life of the zero on the of. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter at underscore life of the so that you guys can comment and interact with me on videos that you want to see in the future and what you like to hear. And let's roll that clip.
part. work and it's like taxing and it's not really what you want to do you have so many other passions in life so many other things that you want to do in life and um that causes you to want to like fast forward everything and just get to the part where stuff gets good tell yourself positive things so like change the way you talk about the things you have to do so we all have to do homework or work work don't say oh my god like i'm dreading this work oh my god i can't wait for this week. For this to be over oh my god i don't think i can't i don't think i can do this don't say those things to yourself because your brain is going to remember that and that influences your mood and emotions when it relates to these words so if you approach it with a more positive attitude like yeah we're gonna knock some stuff out then you will definitely 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 have a better feeling while you're doing these things so make sure to tell yourself positive things and keeping positive adjectives about the work that you're doing like you got to pick these classes you know what i'm saying you got to choose what you're doing in college i don't know in high school usually they choose things for you so i'm sorry y'all just stick it out and be as positive as possible but if you have to choose your own classes and things like that make sure you are talking about them in a positive light with a positive attitude because that will definitely lead to you thinking about it more positively and maybe you'll even enjoy it tip number three would be to take breaks from your electronics okay i said electronics so take breaks from your electronics or to unplug if you will we are in a time where everything is virtual we are always looking at a screen your, whether it's your phone to text your friends or to facetime them or text them or it's your computer because you're in class doing work and things like that um or video chatting or zoom whatever on um your computer we it's very important that you take a break okay because one the the light that comes from our electronics that blue light is not good for our eyes okay um it's not good for our eyes at all so it's important to take breaks to let your eyes rest let your brain rest and just get back into reality interact with real people the people that's in your house interact with like real animals go outside really feel nature feel what it what the weather is like outside okay like we definitely need to take breaks 
from being on social media. So make sure you guys are limiting how much time you are spending on your device. If you do this, it also forces you to prioritize things. So if you're limiting your screen time, then maybe you're getting your work done in this specific amount of time so you can go do other things. And it definitely just, it helps the days stop from blending together. It helps stop the days from blending together, if that makes sense. Step number four will be to pick up a non-screen hobby. So, like I was just saying, I'm not going to repeat it, but like my last tip, we don't want to be on our screen all the time. We don't want to always be looking at that. So, in order to uh, make a shift from that, you need to find a non-screen ho non hobby. So, reading or journaling or exercising. I like to jump rope for a few minutes every day. So, I go in my backyard and I jump rope for like 15 minutes or something like that. And not only is that a good exercise, but it allows me to feel the weather outside, I play with my dog. Um, it just allows me to get back into reality, like just put the phone down, put the computer down, put the tablet down, just, just put it down, put it down, y'all. <laughs> you want to make sure that it's feeding, so you want to make sure every day that you're feeding your mind, body, and spirit. So um, to help you guys choose a hobby, a non-screen hobby that you should do, um, make sure that it's feeding you're already feeding your mind with school and things like that. So you want to do something that feeds your soul. So if that's singing or music or something like that. And something that feeds your body. So something that's physical. So like I said, I like to jump rope. So you might jump rope and read. Or I might creative write and jump rope. You know, something like that. So if that's jogging or cooking or um, decorating something in your house. Like DIY or something like that. Creative. Just... you're consuming via the internet you want to be aware of not only how much time you're spending on the internet but what it is that you're consuming so you want to feed yourself positive things if you're going down your TL or Instagram or Twitter or something like that and you see things that make you upset or angry um, make you feel anxious or are triggering to you just know that you can cultivate what you see on your timeline so make sure you are muting things blocking people unfollowing people so that you are having a more positive interaction with you and your social media so yeah it was real quick a lot less a lot, less, a lot less a lot shorter than my last video if you guys like this video make sure you like it the comment um and subscribe to my channel make sure you guys are um entered into my giveaway i'm still giving it this crap a bag y'all you're not gonna lose anything from entering the giveaway so get people to subscribe so we can you know give away the bag and it's free products y'all so yeah make sure you guys are following me on social media so you can see the behind the scenes so you can see um a lot of extras that i'll be posting on my instagram i will be posting a more in-depth tour of the graph of bag so you guys can see things. I'll probably post something about what I like and don't like about the bag now that I've worn it out a few times. But um, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Those were five tips. <coughs> That's gross. Those were five tips that you can use in order to maintain your mental health while in Zoom University.